Stuck in the UAE with one year labor ban feels like you're trapped getting an outpass. I'm here to tell you that you are not trapped. Labor ban does not stop you from getting an outpass. I want to share some things with you because I have been receiving questions on the video I made about outpass. If I take an outpass, would I get a lifetime ban? Before now, what I knew about taking an outpass from UAE is that you eventually cannot come back to the UAE. But after a couple of research that I did, both online and asking questions and watching other videos, I found out that this can be overturned. Why? If you take an outpass, it means you've violated the immigration law here in UAE. You are not able to pay your fines and you want to leave without any debt. Yes, they permit you to leave, but they have to be cautious about letting you in the next time. So that's why they put a ban on you. And this ban could be between the period of six months to one year to eventually beyond one year. But that's not to say you cannot come back. If you really want to come to the UAE and you've taken an outpass and you really think you want to come back, what you need to do is to contact the UAE embassy in your country where you are and show them proof of why you got this labor ban and why you want to return to the UAE. And I'm sure from the embassy, if you have genuine uh, reasons, they will be able to grant you a new visa to come back. Or alternatively, you can contact a lawyer who is a legal practitioner licensed here in UAE to check with the Emirates which gave you this outpass to pursue it for you and check how they can overturn why you had to stay on overstay and you have gone back home and really want to come back here. Aside this too, going out with an outpass can actually permit you to come back, except if your ban is just for a period of six months to one year, which might vary from case to case. I hope that answers your question based on taking an outpass and leaving the UAE. So another person sent me another question. Can I apply for an outpass? from Dubai if I have an Abu Dhabi visa? Absolutely is no, because each Emirate has its immigration laws and its immigration department. So if your visa is from Abu Dhabi, you need to go to Abu Dhabi to apply for your outpass. If your visa is Ajman, you need to go to Ajman Immigration to apply for an outpass. The UAE has different Emirates which have come together to leave as one and each Emirate has immigration laws that govern their own emirates so you need to go back to that emirate which gave you this visa to check with them to be able to either wipe off your fines and allow you to travel or to just allow you to travel if they feel you want to exit the country and give you your outpass don't hesitate as they are not willing to have you hostage in their country and so you attending or going to these embassies to seek for this outpass if you genuinely want to leave the country you don't have to be scared so i hope i also answer this question about leaving the uae where to get your outpass third question would be absconding i have an absconding case will i be granted an outpass yes you will be given an outpass only if you don't have an outstanding case why were you absconded is your company still legally working or is it closed is that why you went into overstay and right now you want to go home you need an outpass will i be granted an outpass with an absconding case yes and no can an outstanding case be the reason why I will not be granted an outpass? Yes, if you have an outstanding case, legal case, maybe in court or with your employer and was the reason why you were absconded, I am very certain you might not be able to get that outpass. But if you don't have a case, then an absconding means you left the job and um, maybe you didn't even leave the job. Maybe you came on a tourist visa and the company which granted you the tourist visa could not locate you and they have absconded you. Then you have an absconding. That shouldn't be a reason why you will not be granted an outpass. The only reason that I'm sure will prevent you from getting an outpass will be if you have an outstanding case. And without an outstanding case, guys feel free 
to approach immigration. So here I wrote down a step-by-step -step guide to freedom. Number one, gather your documents, that is your passport, cancellation letters, employment termination agreement, and other, other relevant documents. And then number two, make sure you settle all outstanding deals with your employer or financial institute if you have any. Third thing you need to do is visit the relevant immigration department and submit your application along with the required documents. The last thing will be to pay the fees that prepare to shell out some drops that by paying the fees that is required for your outpass. Number five will be wait patiently for the process time which can vary. Chill and watch. Enjoy yourself while you shop if you have some small money to shop before you can leave the country. Then now collect your art pass once it is approved and you're good to go. Pack your bags and say goodbye to the land for a period of time. I don't know. It might vary from one year till uh, for some they say it's life ban depending on your issue and why. But remember knowledge is power. Do your research diligently. Consult with professionals and stay positive. If you're feeling overwhelmed, hit the like button, subscribe for more. Together, we can turn the immigration purgatory into a springboard for a new adventure. Now, go forth and conquer your band. And also make sure that you follow us on all our social media handles so that you can always stay updated with what we share on our channel. And I hope I answered your questions. I know it. Thank you and I'll see you on another one. I remain Harry Tigans Ajingira for Experience. Africans. Thank you and God bless you. Goodbye.